Well, let's take the, the retired teachers. Uh, I've worked with them for many years and very good friends. I, and I'll go to town hall meetings or I'll meet with them privately and they give me their ideas. We try to get their ideas and then they have an association too that we work with who has a lot of expertise. We get with them and they'll give us information. We turn a sheet in to what's called legislative council. And the legislative council takes our ideas and drafts it into bill form. We take it, we modify it, make sure it says what we want to say, alter this, change this, edit this. It goes back in into a final form. And then when we get the final form, which is a sheet of paper, and we take it and we file it with the clerk's office, they then assign a number. That number and the copy of the bill is given to us, and then the Speaker of the House assigns it to committees. So the bill then, teacher retirement, would go to a particular committee. Not necessarily education. It could go to a pensions committee. Mm -hmm. A lot of time you have a retirement system. Once it goes to the committee, uh, we are notified as the author. Then we must request a hearing from that committee. And you request a hearing. Sometimes they give it to you. Sometimes they don't. That's, that's politics. That's the politics. And in this one we did. And I was there, and several of us had similar bills, and we laid it out. And the House committee took all of them and made it into one bill, which you can do. Rather than ten separate bills, they brought it into one. Then the committee has to vote on the bill. Oh, boy. And so you have to work the committee to make sure you have a majority that will vote for it. And if you get that, that doesn't stop. You then go to what Ugo Berlanga was chairman of, the Calendars Committee. And for those that are watching... The Calendars Committee in the House is the committee that decides whether we as House members get to vote on a bill. They can say no, and it never gets set for us to even consider or discuss, or they say yes, then it's assigned a day, and on that day the bill comes up and you have debate on the floor and you vote yes or no. But you have to do it twice. You have to vote on it and discuss it twice and if, it, if you pass it both times, then you go through the same thing on the Senate side. So passing a bill is not easy. Wow. Uh, you know, we're going to take a break here, but uh, I think I need a Tylenol or Excedrin number five. <laughs> Just listening to the hard work you guys got to do and get it out of committee, as That's they true. say. And uh, you tell me, Ugo was in charge of calendars. I mean, this guy had his fingers everywhere. <laughs> That's correct. We got to get him on the show. So we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about cruising. Uh, we're going to bring in the That'll cruise line. I mean, he's working hard for us. Theo Todd, Todd Hunter here. Stay tuned. Each year, millions of Americans are severely injured or killed on our highways in trucking accidents needlessly. Motorists near the border are especially vulnerable. The law offices of Joe Flores can help provide you with information if you or a loved one has suffered a serious injury as a result of a negligent truck driver. Joe Flores is backed by extensive experience as a trial lawyer and a medical professional. Joe Flores can provide you with a prompt and accurate case evaluation. Contact us toll-free today, 888-259-5721 for a free consultation. The law offices of Joe Flores, equal justice for all. If you or a loved one have undergone an MRI procedure with a contrast called gadolinium, you may have suffered injuries to your kidneys or skin. The FDA has warned of a link between gadolinium and a rare disorder known as nephrogenic systemic fibrosis. There is no known cure. Patients may exhibit symptoms such as burning and itching of the skin or muscle and joint weakness, which can lead to kidney failure, disability, and even death. Contact the law offices of Joe Flores today for a free consultation. Backed by 20 years in the medical field and as a trial lawyer, Joe Flores can help. Each year, millions of dollars are lost to health care fraud. The elderly and the poor are the most vulnerable. Every day, unscrupulous health care providers are submitting false claims to the government's Medicaid and Medicare programs. The state and federal government are offering rewards for information leading to the successful prosecution of these cases. For more information, contact the law offices of Joe Flores. With his experience in the medical profession and as a trial lawyer, Joe Flores can provide you more information on how to fight health care fraud. Law offices of Joe Flores, equal justice for all. 